Hi, in this video from tvtrade.ie we're going to show you how you can partition an external hard drive in uh, Windows XP, okay? So it should be a similar procedure in, um, you know, newer versions of Windows, okay? So, the <coughs> excuse me, the point to note is this won't work on um, USB memory sticks, okay? There are restrictions in Windows on partitioning um, USB flash drives, okay? So it is possible but you have to modify your registry and things like this and it's something that we wouldn't recommend at all but this will work for an external hard drive so to begin with anyway we have an external hard drive here called power one and it's our f drive and it's a 320 gig um, hard drive and it's been formatted ntfs so we're going to use a program here called easus partition master home edition uh, to do this for us. So the first thing we want to do is we've identified it's the F drive. Now you have to be very careful, you know, that you're selecting the right drive to do this with. Um, because if it don't, you could delete some data or something like this. So the first thing to do is highlight it and right click on it and go resize move partition. So you can see the setup here. So this is the partition size, but I'm going to change this now. As I say, it's a 320 gigabyte drive. So I'm going to change the first partition here to um, 100 gigabytes. Okay, so that's one zero 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 zero. And then I just press the OK button. So you can see here now that F the F drive, power one, which was NTFS, has been changed to around 100 gigabytes, and it's primary, which is important, okay? Now, the second part then has become allocated, or unallocated, I should say, and there's 200 gigabytes available. So simply, all to do that, you have to just go create partition. So we call this power two, so for partition two, and we'll make sure it's a logical drive this time. So the first one was NTFS, so just as an example, we'll make it FAT32. You can make sure the drive letter is something, you know, uh, available, which it probably should pick up by default anyway, so in this case it's uh, the G drive. And we press the OK button again. So when you have that done, all you have to do is simply click the Apply button. So it says two operations are currently pending, apply the changes now, and there's a button there, shut down the computer after changes are applied. I never really take that, so you needn't bother. In some cases, depending on what you're actually formatting and what you're trying to do with drives, you may need to shut down the computer and reboot after you do it so the operating system can pick it up, but in this case, you don't need to do it. So all you have to do is simply click the yes button, and then just wait. Now, while we're waiting on this, uh, this may take 30 seconds to a minute to go through, uh, before doing any of this, you always should back up any data you had on your hard drive. Depending on how you do this and what um, and what space you're using for the second partition, you could actually destroy data on your hard drive. So you should always back up um, before you do anything like this on your hard drive or on your external hard drive, I should say. So the two operations have been executed successfully. We press the OK button. And that's fine. So we'll just kill this program now. And now you can see we have power one, which is the F drive, which is 100 gigabytes and file system is NTFS. And we have power two, which is the G drive and it's FAT32 and it's 200 gigabytes. So that's basically it. Um, how you can partition your external hard drive in Windows XP.